Unbelievable, uh, you know, unbelievable. As I told our kids afterwards, I can't tell you how proud I am. I, you know, you talk about sticking together. You guys thought we stuck together last week. Uh, you know, the ups and downs of a football game. Uh, you know, uh, it was a back and forth slugfest, really. Uh, you know, when you look at the stats, you kind of go, you know, even why was it? You know, we had 340 yards rushing to their 74. Time of possession was 24 to 35. So we got to find out why we couldn't finish it off faster. There's still a lot of things we got to improve. Had some foolish penalties out there at times that uh, you know that we're not going to take, and you know, we'll see the tape. Uh, you know, I'm not you know opposed to some aggressive penalties, which you know I think you know, we had a couple of those. We're going to be a tough football team, so we're going to have uh, some of those. But uh, you know our kids uh, fought the tails off. It's a it is a rivalry game, and uh, we got a tough football team. Uh, they're having a blast in the locker room. They got the party music going and. And uh, you know, I just can't tell you. It's just, just amazing. So that uh, had to answer some questions. I want to credit you, fast card, too. Yeah, because we closed the media out. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fast start. I mean, obviously, you guys saw our offense today. Did you see our offense? So you know, uh, you know, last week really wasn't our offense. This was this is our offense. I think it's something you're going to see every week, and and uh, we got more. I mean, I think Coach Canada had. Uh, you know, 350 plays on, on his wristband today. So we had one more, a couple more we didn't call. Um, but, you know, you know, I give credit, obviously, to our football team. I give credit to Coach Cannon calling a great play, a great, you know, great game. Uh, Coach Conklin, and then, of course, Coach Power, especially teams coordinator, you know, getting Fodgy down, down the field again. I mean, um, you know, his last four games, he's taken it either to the house or inside the 10 four times. Uh, you know, that doesn't happen. That's not a normal deal. Uh, so, you know, fast start. Great coaching, great playmaking for our players, and, and uh, execution. I can take us through that goal line sequence that you guys had defensively and forced the field goal late in the fourth quarter. Well, that was that was a huge sudden change. I mean, uh, if, I, if I recall, again, you know, it was just, you know, it was, you know, our guys, we talked about being together, but I think there was a, after James put the ball on the ground, um, they reviewed it, and our guys went out and went three and out. And I think we gave up a field goal that series. That's what I'm talking about. Gave up a field goal. But that's a gigantic, I mean, when you get into a sudden change situation, your defense comes out there and, and, and goes three and out, really, and force them to field goal. They, they, they got the field goal by by position, by field position. Uh, but for us to be able to hold it to three points was a, you know, that's the game right there. Virginia sack in particular. I mean, say they were Virginia sack in particular. Yeah, I mean, Virginia, you know, yeah, it's, it's it's a different guy every time. I think we had four or five sacks. I mean, if Soto comes up with one, you know, Virginia has one there, it's like, uh, I think Rory Blair had a big one. I mean, it wasn't just, you know, Juan Price out there with 12 sacks. Uh, it's just everybody execute, do your job, and someone's going to come clean if everybody sticks together and plays together as one. What do you say why after the game? Oh, my gosh. You know, you know we talked about, you know, there's going to be, there was a bunch of heroes out there today. You know, we watched some some old Penn State pit, you know, clips as far as just the great plays. You know, Rutherford touchdown. <laughs> we watched a ton of different plays and, and, and how you win it. But, you know, we talked about who's going to be the hero. You know, there was a bunch of heroes. But you talk about the play of the game, really. You know, Ryan Lewis's interception right there. And, you know, that guy stays out after practice every day and works on his ball skills, okay? And I got to tell you, you know, if, if he had great ball skills, he'd be a wideout, okay? But he works at it and continues to try to get better. And, uh, you know, what a, what a play. So just another hero. Pat, disrupting, uh, they talked about disrupting them on offense by having your, your guys clapping defensively to disrupt their cadence. When did you – think that was going to be a possibility and, and think that would be a Well, I guess yeah, it's just another excuse. Okay? Um, if you just go back and watch tape of our first game, you know, we, we go like this. You know, we make, we clap. You know, we did it. You just watch the tape. We did it where I've been before, but it's a way of telling our defense line what to do. Um, you know, we're allowed signals too, so I, you know, I'm not sure about disruption, you know. Um, but, you know, that's what we do. You know, go back and watch, um, you know, tape of our opener. Same thing we're doing. Our guys are clapping all the time. It's what we do to get our defense tackles to move wherever we want them to move.